welcome to another grocery haul. Whoa. Today I went to Walmart and Sobeys. I'm going to start with the Walmart stuff. There's a couple things from Walmart that are not groceries, but I will throw them in here anyway because I bought them in the same chip. This is for two weeks worth of things. Got two cases of Similac Sensitive for the babies. Two bags of chips for the boyfriend because that is his drug of choice. Um, English muffins and eggs to do egg sandwiches for dinner. I also got some female bacon, which I think is in another bag. We'll get to that. Chopped walnuts for baking purposes. Two different kinds of cheese. Those will be parts of two dinners in the next two weeks. Some double stuffed Oreos because those are my drug of choice. CT Crunch in a giant box because that's the necessary size for CT Crunch. A can of Tim Hortons coffee. Some Lou's Original Pea Bacon. That's going to be for the breakfast sandwiches. We love that stuff. It's so good. Chef Boyardee Lasagna for my boyfriend for his lunches. He's back to work minimally, but guy still needs to eat. Some Natrell Sans Lactose Free because I'm lactose special. Canned sliced peaches for the babies as well as some unsweetened applesauce for the babies. Uh, and then the non-grocery items are all for the baby. <laughs> I got um, a reusable swim diaper to go with his swimsuit that I just got him. And a three pack of sissets because God knows where they all go. And a raspberry teether because he has that one at my mom's and he seemed to really like it. So I thought I would get him one for here. Let's get into the Sobe stuff. So I got four more cans of stuff for boyfriend's lunch just to make sure we have enough things. I've got the steakhouse chili without beans because he really likes not eating beans. And super beef ravioli because I couldn't find any more of the lasagna. Big ass cucumber that I need to cut up for Rory. Some pork gravy that will go with a pork loin for one of our dinners. Some extra Dempster's bread for the freezer. Uh, some strained tomatoes that I will be using for meatballs this week and some cotton candy caramel corn uh, because I am a sucker. Next bag I got a crap ton of coffee cream because we drink a crap ton of coffee. This is some phyllo dough uh, that I will be using to make pork wellington which is what the gravy is going to be going with. Uh, these are some chicken samosas. I've never had these, but I was curious to try them. Probably gonna make those with some fried rice. Another dinner is some chicken fries, and we have uh, buffalo cauliflower bites downstairs, so I'm gonna probably do those together. Not super healthy, but easy and delicious. And then we've got some Yorkies. This is going to be going with a mini beef roast from Lou's, I believe. They're super good. You'll see that in the next bag. In the last bag, we have the beautiful pork tenderloin that I'm gonna be using for the pork wellington. And this is a bunch of ground beef that I will be using for meatballs, that's right. Uh, this, these things are great. They're pretty affordable and they're absolutely delicious and they're good for when you want a good meal but don't want to cook. And then one of the dinners that we already had is I have some homemade veal stew downstairs. So I just picked up this half-baked uh, baguette to have with the stew. I got some chocolate chip muffins for breakfast stuff. Uh, some Frank's Red Hot because we were out and it is essential in this house. And some sesame seeds for bagels. And that's it. That's all the grocery haul I got. Not super massive. I'm glad I don't have to panic buy anymore. It's nice to have access to food again. It's, people aren't hoarding anymore. It's great. Man, I, I strongly dislike people sometimes. Okay, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. We will see you in the next one.